guys, it's another video by your girl, Keita Javon. Um, I had to start this video off by just saying, um, I pray that everyone's safe. Um, I pray that everyone is, you know, finding the best way to deal with, you know, the recent news of the protesting and looting and the death of George Floyd and um, just so many other people who have been dying or getting hurt, um, brutally massacred, you know, just by different racial violence that um, unfortunately um, black people, African-Americans have been facing for years, centuries now. And um, I would say if it wasn't for prayer and praise and worship in my church family, like mentally, I would really be um, just really in fear and just, you know, just terrified and just really upset. Like mentally um, to be a person that know that you live in a country or a world that values or look at you in a different way your mindset sometimes can go like, you know what I'm saying? Um, uh, it's just amazing the things that Black people are able to accomplish over all these years of injustice and racial ten racial things that we face, you know, sometimes on a daily basis. Um, what I will say is that with the more that's come, experience, more issues that are happening nowadays with it being filmed i think it's really becoming more um it's becoming something that people can't ignore you know what i'm saying you can't act like you don't realize that it's happening and hopefully that stands for something that means that that brings some more change there's so many more of you know our white brothers and sisters because not all black people are hood and not all white people are racist. You know what I'm saying? And I've noticed even with some of the the uh, YouTubers that I'm subscribed to that, you know, may seem completely different than the type of um, stuff that I would watch, but their character and the information they provide in the videos they do and um, even the hustle, um, like, uh, I'm sorry for looking, but this is my notes, but um, the channel Fashion Mumbler is... Uh, this uh, white lady that I watch from um, London. And I'm telling you, like, she's a straight hustler. And I don't know her personally, but I really appreciate the fact that she made a comment that she feels that it's unjust. That I, I'm really just saluting to it. It's not my job to try to pull apart and say what someone else should do. But the fact that she made a comment on one of her posts, I appreciate. I appreciate um, even Mel Sundara um, made a comment on one of her, beginning of one of her most recent videos saying that she's not, she don't think it's right. She think it's unjust. She doesn't stand for it. And if she lose followers, then so be it. And I mean, like I said, I don't think it's anyone's right to try to critique and say what someone else should do. Work on you. Do what you supposed to do, what you feel is right. And then you will cause people to follow suit. You see what I'm saying? Um, also, uh, Patricia Bright, you know, posted a video about her experience, uh, Karen Britchett. Those are two channels I really love. And it's most of the people I watch is their personality. Their personality is just amazing. And um, I, I gravitate to people that have character more so than, and it may not, I may not necessarily um, like all of their videos. And I swear I can't watch all of their videos because I work. There's more people I've subscribed to and they probably have made statements and I haven't seen it. But um, I definitely wanted to give a shout out to Karen Britchick, Fashion Mumbler, Mel Sendero, the I'm From e Mommy Life. They did a, her husband did a great video um, just kind of doing, bringing an intellectual tip on, you know, racism. And I really love that video. I appreciate them putting that out. Uh, they represent the A as well. Yeah. <laughs> and um, also Patricia Bright. Like I said, these are some YouTubers that use their platform to say something. And I just want to say, I don't feel racism is right. Um, I feel like people should treat people how they want to be treated. That's what I've been raised. And that's what I teach my kids. And 
you know, that's what I try to bring to my world and the people I come in contact with. And so, yeah, I hope that I hope that we do continue to see betterness and more change. But it definitely takes people saying something and living each day on purpose, like in a certain way. So I said all that and um, I'm going to go ahead and get into this video. Um, I just want to say um, shout out to all the fathers. Father's Day is coming up. And uh, I wanted to get this video out because there's actually like a coupon code that's available today. And these shoes, you you might want to go cop. You know what I'm saying? You might want, you might want it. But anyway, um, so this video is about the Puma RX Q. And this is the Sonic version. And this is in the color white with golden rod. Okay. Now, um... If you notice, mine looks a little different, don't it? Um, shout out for all the people out there that can't do anything like the normal way. You always got to do something different. You know what I'm saying? So, the um, well, first off, let me just, this is the box, how it comes. Uh, this is Puma um, Sonic shoe uh, for the music movie Sonic that recently came out this, this year, 2020. And so this is how the box comes, which is actually pretty dope. Um, they did some really nice little graphics and stuff like that on it, Sonic. And um, shout out if you've ever played the game. Like, I used to love that as a kid. And I actually, I don't remember when, but I have played it, um, a more recent version on my kids' Xbox 360. Um, we haven't got rid of it yet because I love the uh, the cameras or just play stuff by motion. We like to play um, hip hop evolution and stuff like that. But yeah, so here's the box. And uh, this is the other side. This is a men's 10 and a half. Um, I, I can get a 10, but um, if you've seen my other video, you know, uh, Puma's, I feel like I need another half an inch when it comes to their shoes. So I've been, I've bought another 10 and a half just so it can be comfortable, you know, take no chances. Cause I really like the shoe. I didn't want to get a shoe that I was like, oh, it's good, but it's just a little tight. No, I don't do that. So, oh, and here's the top of the box. Um, as you can see, it's got the rings, got the Puma logo right here. Like, I really need to give me a Puma um, t-shirt and a jacket. Like, I got to, you know, step it up. Like, I got, this is my fourth, I think, RSX. Um, so, this shoe comes with black shoestrings. So, if you can try to picture it. summer and this was this is a little too much but it's i'm good with it okay because like i said in my white sneaker like having just a plain white shoe i don't know like you it's kind of like a lot of times there are certain things that you like to play up in your outfit where you like it to be more elaborate elaborate i can talk and certain things that you just like you know what it could be low-key I like my shoes to be more elaborate. And as you can see, like I do plain Jane, I do like a white top normally. People who know me know me. <laughs> and I like, I don't know why, but I like to have like this little jacket coverall type of thing. I don't know. I can't get, I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. And then some skinny jeans, like that's the silhouette that I love. And then I'll have some kicks on. <laughs> but these came in black uh, laces and... I honestly think I might switch it up here and there, but I was like, I need white laces. I think that'll really change the game. And I was right. Okay. Look at the, and I have this uh, gold 
lace lock that I got from eBay a while ago. Um, but as you can see right here, this is like a bronze kind of taupe color on the, on the toe box. Uh, leather on the front. And uh, this is like a really light kind of baby blue, but it transcends into this royal blue, which is, uh, this is actually suede. Uh, here's the rings on the back uh, with the little sonic head. Y'all, I'm about to fall. And then we got a lot of yellow. I'm trying to be okay with it because I don't really do, I don't really have no shoes, no yellow. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Um, little red on the back. And it's funny, it's on the back, so I wonder if that's for tails. Anyway, um, and then this right here is got the score and the time and the amount of rings. So that's kind of cool that they incorporated on the shoe. And then on the tongue, let me try to move the laces. Okay, so this says... RSX and it has the Sonic head, yellow on the tongue with some more of that gold bronze. Um, I don't know, like I feel like it's fit it is pulling out the white gold shoe that I wanted, especially with the yellow. That's kind of like a yellow gold and this bronze color as well. Like I feel like it's doing it for me. Um, yeah, I'm really loving this shoe. <clears throat> now, one thing I will tell you, out of all the other Puma RSX I've had, uh, this one seems to be way more stiff as far as, like, I felt like I needed a little break-in period. And, I mean, right now, it's still comfortable, okay? Let's not, mm -mm, don't, mm -mm, don't get it twisted. It's still comfortable, but it's just a little stiff um, than my other versions, but I'm, as you can see, I'm cool with it. I've decided to keep it. I've changed the laces and I've added this lace lock. And, I, oh, this is the back. Um, as you can see, it's got running system right there. I mean, I really like these shoes. Baby was like, um, you like them shoes? Okay, go ahead and get that. That's your uh, Mother's Day gift because I... I You'll see in the next video, the sneaker haul, I've been buying shoes, trying to find that shoe. And I've just been like missing it, but I've been enjoying it because it's like more shoes, more shoes. Now, nah, like it's in the back. Um, yeah, it's been kind of cool. So yeah, this is um, the white Sonic uh, Golden Rod Puma RSX Cube. And I mean, think. If you want to steal my idea, please feel free to do that. Let Puma know. I, I told you guys, I showed you guys, I tried to show you guys my designs. Like, I got ideas. I'm, I'm creative. I think this is a, like a dope look. Like, for real, especially if you put something plain with it and put this on. Like, this is the store. Now, this is why this video is so important. Champs is where I got the shoes for $99. They normally $120. But I, they have them on sale for $99. Right now, today, and actually a week ago when I got them, they had a 25% off coupon. So keep checking. This is the summer clear out season. You can get stuff for the low. Right now, Champs got a coupon code 25 summer. You get 25% off anything that's $49 or more. And I think it ends after today. Today is Tuesday. Uh, June the 9th, so I'm praying I get this video up just as quickly as possible. But um, that's why I want to make it important. And also, I put down below my coupon cabin link. Coupon cabin gave me an additional 15% when I bought this shoe, so I paid like $62. $62? What? Y'all better go get it, okay? Um, so yeah, so definitely, especially Father's Day gift, they have more than just this colorway. They have several colorways. I really think I'm going to take a rest and try another shoe. I want something that's just a little bit more comfortable, responsive, I think. This is comfortable, but I just want to try something different for a while because I only got a lot. But if I get another sale, I don't know if I can turn it down. <laughs> 
But uh, thanks again. But that's it. Go get it. This is a good Father's Day gift. Like you in there, you sis, you come with this. You in there, you done. Um, but anyway, um, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Um, I hope your family is safe. I hope your family is well mentally and physically. And um, check my next video, Keita Javon. Here we out.